Hi class, welcome to Advantage. Once again, I'm Matt Fisher, your accounting instructor. In the previous video, we went over bad debt expense and the writing off of bad debts, accounts receivable. Now, in this video and the next video, we're gonna be looking at the allowance method. All right. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the percent of sales associated with the allowance method. So here's the information that we're gonna be using in this video and the next video. Our sales are $1 million. We're gonna assume it's all credit sales. And our accounts receivable balance at the end of the year is 200,000. Our current allowance has a balance of $2,000 in it. And you have to make sure that you know what kind of balance that is, and it's a credit balance. So if I have my allowance, let's just draw this in here. That's its balance right now. Here's the T account, it's got a credit balance. Okay. So if we're using the percent of sales, we take that percent of sales and that is the adjustment, okay? That is the adjustment we need to make to the allowance. Now let me point out what the allowance is because this is a new account for you. This allowance account goes with the accounts receivable. And at the end of the period, it should have a credit balance to offset your debit balance for accounts receivable. With this allowance method, we're trying to estimate the amount of bad debts we're going to have, you know, which customers aren't going to pay us. So when we're done with this allowance, we're going to have a balance in there, and that's the estimate of what we're not going to be receiving from our accounts receivable, and that's why it has a credit balance. So let's look at our example. The percent of sales is 0.5% of sales. So you need to know what this percentage is, and then you take that percentage, so 0.5% would be 0.005 times uh, $1 million, and that would get us $5,000. So that is our adjusting entry. So I'm gonna put down here ADJ for our adjusting entry at the end of the year, 0.5% times the million dollars is $5,000. So we're gonna debit bad debt expense, $5,000. And we're going to credit the allowance for uncollectible accounts. This has many different names. The allowance for uncollectible accounts, or maybe you might call it the allowance for doubtful accounts. They're all the same. It's just the allowance, all right? So when you're using the percent of sales, that percentage is the adjustment. It's the dollar amount of the adjustment. 0 0.005 times 1 million is $5,000, right? So then this is the adjustment. Remember, we already had five, um, we already had 2,000 in there. So when we add 5,000 more to that, the adjustment, because that's what the allowance is right here, or another 5,000 credit, it now has a balance of 7,000, okay? So, that's our ending balance in the allowance. Here's how we got the adjustment. We put the adjustment into the allowance to get the ending balance. So if we're gonna look at our balance sheet format, the balance sheet format now, if you're looking at accounts receivable, would have an account receivable balance of 200,000. And then the allowance is a contra account and so it has a 7,000, I'm gonna put a parenthesis around that, credit balance, so this is what we estimate we're not gonna collect. So then our net account receivable would be $193,000, right? So this is really important for this chapter to make sure that you understand the allowance method. It's estimating those customers that aren't gonna pay us. When we're using the percent of sales method, we take that percentage and that is the adjustment. And then we can calculate the allowance in order to prepare our balance sheet format for this. In the next video, we're gonna go over the percent of accounts receivable method, all right? So the allowance method really has two different ways of doing it. You can do it percent of accounts receivable or percent of sales, all right? This method here that we did today, percent of sales. All right, class, good luck. I hope you're enjoying accounting.